off first in the ladder. Yeah, no, nah, this, this is going to be a good match. Uh, you know, dragging off, you can't go wrong there. I'm a big, uh, I'm a, I always say I'm a president, probably the president of the um, ball rank hater club because I just hate to deal with this character. But I'm assuming that collectively uh, most of the Tekken community is also very tired of dealing with Dragonov as we see right here with the, with the big Dragonov shenanigans doing all that damage. Yeah, that was a big rip. He's not letting up. Oh, I thought that was killed. Just did not get that final hit out the wall there, but he gets the string to finish it already playing. Uh, as I like to say, not the not the real Tekken, but he gets launched and 10 gonna carry this to the wall. 10 with the, the round start <laughs> death frame. It's like, all right, we're playing the game now. And already taking all of Wizzy's life. 17 seconds into the round getting the perfect to tie up one round apiece. Yeah, it'd be like that sometimes. Breaking the wall, instantly breaking the floor here at round number three. So let's see what happens here in the downstairs area. Oh, he tried it again. <laughs> Try to do it again at the start of the round. My my boy has no chill. You know, sometimes you just gotta pop out and show him. Just yes, sir. Good quote from Luke. I see the Street Fighter <laughs> six. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Oh, goodness. All right. Uh, Tenno fighting off the wall here, but, you know, Wizzy ain't gonna... Oh, my God. Such great Boy. movement from Wizzy. Yeah, the defensive movement from Wizzy, but now you see Wizzy trying to get that download early. As you see, he's backing up when Tenno is pressing those buttons. Yeah, good combo here from Wizzy, uh, from Tenno, pushing him to the wall and, again, not letting up. See, both these characters with heavy momentum. Oh, drop the combo, but it didn't matter. You can't drop a combo against a character like Dragonov because that's where they excel the most in those very low health situations. They start making you sweat. They're gonna apply all that pressure as Wizzy is right now against this wall. Yeah, Wizzy popping to burn the uh, the gauge there. Uh, all right, what's the mix? Okay, and the down two to Wizzy also getting a perfect. They traded perfects his first set. But Wizzy taking it up 1-0 over 10-0. Oh, look at that bar. Well, look at me. That was a hard bar right there. 1-0 <laughs> <laughs> versus 10-0. You know, dragging off on go, bro. Stop. Uh, uh, oh, okay. I see you. <laughs> Spin the high yoga fire. No Dawson needed. Fight. Right. Oh, he's going for those uh, round star launchers every time, brother. <laughs> I mean, the just frames aren't punishable, so I mean, it's not like it's a bad thing, but it's very predictable. And, oh, good launch, the combo. Drop the combo. Oh, wave dashing on him. Okay, hitting them with the mixes. Oh, good duck from Wizzy. That's that character knowledge right there from Wizzy. Like, you can't, you, I've seen those, I know this. And as we see Wizzy playing in almost every tournament every week, so like, he's only getting more and more character knowledge every time, getting it. That second round with the down four one, it looked like I believe it was. I think so. I don't know. Dragon off just be doing a lot. Oh, tried to sidestep, but got caught, got stuffed. Still gets some type of string in anyway. Okay. Right. Oh, get oh, And this is gonna, this is potentially gonna go to the wall because Warring has insane wall carry. And uh, this character having this much wall is crazy. And then once he gets stamped up, he's like in perfect control and takes the second round, man. All right, Tenno, you know, not making this free by any means. Uh, absolutely. The, uh, uh, the, the, the Dragon Off wins do not come for the free price. You gotta work for these. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. good stuff. Right, you know, Tenno in control right now. Oh, but lost it and got the pit Lord, he's at the wall. Mm, yes, sir. And that's crazy how far that went. No tornado until the very end. Oh, that's a game stop trade right there. <laughs> that didn't work out. Never in their favor. It's a game stop trade, and Huang Rang only got two dollars for his Madden 2013. That's big boy. <laughs> Speak it up, big work, Wizzy right here with the sick combos. So much damage and so much pressure at the wall. 
Oh, oh. I respect it, but he didn't yep. get the launch. Oh no, he's dead. Gotta give him a credit though. That was a good way to stuff that tackle. Uh, as we like to call though, as I like to call that, that was the Wisconsin jump, except he did the delayed kick. So not really a jump necessarily. Yeah. But good stuff from Wizzy there. Taking it 2-0 over 10-0. Um, oh, yeah. For sure, for sure. All right, up next, we got Lapras versus Juno. Juno on the June and Lapras on the Law. On the Law, and we got the Chipotle gear coming out. Shout out to Chipotle for sponsoring the Tekken. But uh, speaking of sponsoring, right now, Lapras sponsoring Juno with this ass whooping. Yeah, for sure. Um, all right. You know, got a lot of great life though. So one good combo, getting all that back. And, you know, and, it, and it is June, so she can yeah. just easily recover some of her health back. Yeah, for sure. And it looks like that's what's happening right now. But now, now the tables have turned. Now Lapras is on the back foot, but again, a lot of great life. Ooh. And it's crazy that you can recover most of this health. Lapras getting the launcher and still be in rage. Oh my God. Like Lapras is about to get, he could have got half health, half of his health back and still be enraged. That's insane. Yeah. Oh, great there. All right, good delay wake up there from Juno. And they're playing a little bit of the neutral, neutral game going, Burr. Lapras using the slide, trying to mix them. Yeah, slide oh, again. The fact that, you know, he, he's doing that, like, really fast, like, ex that execution is crazy. Oh, good dub. And the wall rising launcher drops the combo, though. Oh, okay. That's the first trade. Oh, mm -hmm. whenever your 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 uh, heat gets stuffed, oh, that is because you lose all your meter now. Now you you got nothing. Yeah, bro. it worked out in his favor there. He, he he's threatening with the slide a lot, and uh, Juno is just watching a the movie there. Juno gotta get active in those situations. Stuff that. And of there stuff, we go. Juno just stuff. ducking at the wrong time here. Gets launched again. Right, and Lapras taking a commanding lead there, and that was a, I think that was a no round brown. That was a no round brown, taking that first one. All right, let's see what. Uh, you no, know, very what, dominant. I mean, not Juno. Yeah. Uh, let's see what uh, Juno does. I think we might get a stage change because Yakushina really isn't the best stage when it comes for uh, for June. You know, she likes having people on the wall and just being very dominant. The downfall of that is uh, Law also very much excels playing against the wall. So that is a, you know, that is kind of a lose-lose there, at least in my opinion. Yeah, for sure. Um, but I just, I think Juno just needs to really adjust and stop letting Lappers do, do the whole crouch, crouch in, crouch in his face. Oh, we went right back to Yakushina. That's yep. I hate random select, bro. <laughs> I hate random select, bro. What? Random select uh, is, is, there's never no in between. It's either going to work in your favor or it's. Yeah, for sure. Oh, okay. The double backflip. I see y'all. All right. Okay. okay. Juno you know playing a little bit, a little bit more of the poke game this time. It's, it's working out. Play, take it, uh, slowing down the pace here. Okay, Lapras using that heat engager. Good parry there by Juno and gets launched right on the wake up. Hate to see it. Ooh, can -can. Okay, Juno kind of cooking. Good use of heat burst there. Missed the last hit. And uh, a little, uh, a fun fact it seems. See in the chat that I, this might just be also matchup knowledge. Uh, that Lapras apparently used to be a June man. Okay. So it, it could just be character knowledge, knowing the matchup, but Juno kind of cooking now, kind of waking up. Yeah, Juno, oh. oh. There we okay. go, I think that's what Juno's been looking for is trying to get the low parry on those slides. Yeah, I see the 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 the, the tap load trying to you know catch something. Uh, but Lapras getting a good combo here. Oh, dropped it. Tommy oh, Taylor Yes, yeah, sir. You know how it is. Yeah, you know could potentially kill here. It should kill. Oh, oh 
once again misses the last hit and it could cost her very effectively but Lapras also dro dropping those what is going on we just hit back -back. Drop them all. yeah we just hit back-to-back -back commentators curses it was like oh they could take it oh they could take no nah. dude so it happens to me so many times where i'm like okay both players are playing very well defense and there you go one got hit oh speaking of <laughs> yep exactly see yeah happens every time it's like the tekken gods are listening oh yeah they they are definitely watching they are locked in oh, oh great okay, okay. Lapras Ooh. is trying to mix Juno with those slides. It looks like he's trying to condition. Oh, the flow combo misses the last hit once again. All right, what's the mix here? Oh, good duck. No punish, though. What a conversion. Oh, my God, Juno. This is seven seconds left on the clock. So if this doesn't kill, just back up. Oh, she's recovering some health and she dashed right into him. Why would you do that? You had the lead. Oh no, Lapras, wake up, Rajar. To take it with two seconds left on the clock. Wow, what a what a call out. I mean, sometimes you just gotta do it and it worked out. Lapras staying alive. What an, <laughs> what an unfortunate round for Juno, but you know, sometimes that's, again, that's why you just gotta back up, you know? Yeah. Oh, okay. Absolutely, that pepper is getting some type of damage here on the board. A little bit is better than nothing. And that is, oh, wow, wow. Oh, good block, but can't get much of a punish. All right, let's see if Juno can close it out. Oh, okay, good whip punish. Oh, okay. right. Yes, sir. And I would consider that a low. And as I like to say, Surgeon Storm, Juno playing the realest forms of Tekken, ending the round with the low there. Yep, that's 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 true. Like that's ten and two Tekken at its core right there. It's ending there, ending around with a low, ending the game, ending the set with a low. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, it's 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 the truest form of Tekken. It's not predictable at all. Who grind your matches out? And obviously the per, the match percentage at the end is what puts you at top eight if you make it that far yes and uh the top four of the standings will go on the winner side of the bragging and the bottom four of the top eight will go into the loser side and we play out the top eight bracket from there so if you're in the chat right now and you want to hop in you are more than welcome to do so we have again it is open for the next uh two hours well now hour and a half because it's not currently 7 30. um it does end at nine and then that's when the final calculation will go in so oh they already into it my bad yeah, uh, yeah. that lapras still still he hit three slides in that round by the way so lapras still abusing those slides juno just can't seem to get the to read those mixes yeah uh but it seems like uh, Lapras has made the adjustments uh, from the, the last round, from the last uh, set. Ooh, oh, got good point. hop kick there. Mm. Okay, you know, definitely cooking that round. Yeah. I think I think this this one's definitely gonna go the distance the way these two are playing. Yeah, I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling a final round. Most of the times I'm pretty I'm pretty uh spot on when it comes to, to final rounds but juno being spot on with these hop kicks you know the can cans have been 100 percent oh my god you're dead get your ass up i'm not done with you Fight. okay all right lapras has to adjust now juno is at set point this is uh his last chance to tie this up okay. and there we go get the flow combo yeah, definitely gonna get a little bit of good damage here. Going for the Oki. All right, Juno opting to just press buttons. Oh my God. Once again with the hop kick after conditioning him with the lows. And get stomped down. Oh, okay, no whip punish there. All right, that's kind of on the back foot. Uh, out of meter. There's that whip punish he was looking for. Ooh, trying to bait her out. 
14 seconds left on the clock. You better kill with this combo, Juno. If not, good move there with the Rage Arm, guaranteeing that damage. That might actually be it. Uh, let's see, chat. Will it kill? Give me your phone. Yes. It does kill. Good stuff there. Good adjustments from Juno after that first game. Yeah, Juno, you know, doing a real good job of staying composed and not, you know, falling into the pitfalls. That can happen, you know, when you're fighting against a, a law of, you know, once they start going for that low, uh, they'll start getting a little cheeky. They'll go for that jump low that they love to do. You you know the one mm -hmm. I'm talking about. The yes, one they love to rounds with. Yep. Um, but, you know, Juno doing a real good job of uh, keeping lappers, uh, you know, in check, slowing down the neutral in the, in staying in the, what? But that just happens, all right? Um, it looks like we have our next match is the Spinboy Co versus the Wise Dream. Ooh, man, that, I'm not gonna lie. I really messed with that Captain Falcon custom, bro. That is a dope custom. Oh, yeah, that goes hard for sure. Oh, Ooh, okay. Good heat dash, drops it though. Oh, good break. Mm, oh, yeah, good side step from Dream. Oh no, you're here. You're, you might be dead. Oh that, oh, that is dead for sure. Just went a little too crazy there with the uh, with the pressure. Overextended just a little bit, and Femboy woke up. Super, love to see it. Yeah, good good first round taking there. Uh, it's, it's rare you see leads, so it's always refreshing when you see one that can you know cook. Oh, good duck. No punish. Oh, good hop knee. Okay, let's see what Fanboy Co can do. Take him very close to the wall because Lee is also an insane wall carry character. Oh, good grab, but breaks it. Oh, good launch, man. Oh, Lee, they are playing Tekken. And they're swing. They're both swinging for the fences. They're both trying to take their turn. Re Although respecting each other's turn, good sidestep launcher there from uh, Wise Dream. Oh my God, does that that don't hit? No, no, there's no way. You know, the I would blame the cameraman, but at the same time, that was just a bad angle. Boom. Oh, didn't get the throw break. And Noggin to the floor. Oh, Lord. That helmet ain't going to help you, brother. Oh, he tried to get the sweep. I know what that was. Well, Wise Dream, uh, very good sidesteps coming from him. But Fanboy is pressing him. Pressing him like he's pressing these buttons. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, good duck, but no launch. Oh, oh try to hop me once again. Nah, brother. This is wall ring we talking about. Oh, tried to activate, but got clipped low. Mm -hmm. Oh, no break on the throw. I believe that's a two, uh, that's a two break. And the low wise dream playing the realest form of second, but you got to break those throws. Ladies and gentlemen, they do stack up if you don't break them. Ooh, pop knee drops it though. Alright, uh Ben Boy needs to probably switch it up a little bit. Going for those hot knees definitely cost him. Ooh, drop the combo. Although he is coming in very clutch with those uh well not with those not with the defensive plays, but that uh um I don't know what that's what uh notation for that string is, but there we go, the one he just did. Um Stuffing a lot of what Wise Dream is trying to do, Ooh. and the low jab taking the round for him. Yeah, oh, that was such a clutch situation. It was almost about to be a round five situation, but a Wise Dream managed to close it out there. And I think just a, just a little bit. I think Femboy Co has to just slightly tone it down, a little bit slow down on the uh, on the pressure. Um, Obviously, the low string coming in clutch for him, but we are also talking about Hualrang, who, well, can basically pressure almost anyone in this game. You have to play a very big guessing game against Hualrang, so, like, you know. Yeah, um, like you said, definitely got to slow down the pace. Uh, Femboy got to definitely a little too much dip on their chip. Um, when it comes to, like, going for the hot knees, uh, definitely got to... Change it up a little bit. Oh, got me on. And as you see there, that warring pressure leading him to get that hop kick launcher. Uh, and 
there we go wise dream seeing those lows about coming now and he's gonna punish though that's a free punish every single time yeah, it, it seems like a wise dream has caught on to the uh the game uh the, the style of play that uh Embo wants to play one got clipped again all right here get clipped and gets the wall bounce he's gonna do some good damage oh didn't get that throw break uh oh low health situation for a wise excuse me a wise dream Ooh. this does some pretty boy to close out that round going to round number three now oh there we go going for those low strings again and stuffed it with the heat burst but not this time you're gonna eat this wall ring pressure that's why i hate him and already gets to the wall Ooh, okay um, use a power crush Oh, that's not gonna punish. You're gonna die for that. Yep, the preemptive rage art. Thought he was gonna get him, but a wise dream already at that point. Ooh. All right. Oh, there's the pressure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's that patent warring pressure that you know you guess wrong every time. It's guaranteed for a wall ring to just beat you up, and he overextended just a little bit. Fanboy Cole getting that Rage Art. Just gonna recover a tad bit of health, but half of Wise Dream's health already gone. Oh, you know, it's, it's pretty much done for, yeah. Not a lot of options when Hold On has you on the wall like that, and a Wise Dream taking it over Fanboy Code 2 0. All right, so we are 35 minutes in, right? We got a we got a couple matches in. I'm pretty sure everyone has gotten at, at least old men out there. This is Paragon Online, and we run this. Okay, and now we got. We got... Oh, go, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, Paul Nerap versus the uh, Dragon Off 108. Uh, who, unironically, is not playing Dragon Off. Yeah. Still playing a toxic character, none of that. Oh yeah, absolutely. And then uh, Paul Nerap sticking to the to the bit and playing Paul with the name Paul Norris. It'd be funny if their name in real life was Paul, so it's like it all just comes together. Oh trust me, so uh because of my real name, Lars is is the first character I went to once I found his name like his full name. I was like, oh I got this. Oh, okay. That's what's up. Uh, Okay, Paul Norev kind of kind of out here cooking with the hard knockdown and the double heat burst and got his ass kicked. Paul Norev tying the round at one apiece. Fight. You know, Paul Norev is no, no slouch. Uh, watching him play Paul, it's like, I, I didn't even know this character could do all of this. I didn't know this character could just like this. Oh yeah, Paul, Paul is, especially after that uh, last big patch, he got blocked and just all players have been eating it pretty good lately same thing with kazuya players you know kazuya they kazuya was asked to get buffed and uh they they agreed they didn't give him dragon off dropping that combo though mm, okay Ooh, and yeah. then for a circle forward two didn't get nothing out of that death fist though now dragon off applying this pressure good low jab gets that death fist now and into the wall is gonna do some damage suplex let's go oh yeah no on the ref is cooking right now and closes it with a mid and i he went for the low jab first to try and stuff if dragon all was gonna try and do something but got the the mid string anyway and now the neutral game going kind of crazy and as soon as i say that of course one of them gets launched yeah and this stage is like really good for both characters because it's like one combo you're at a wall on oh, just the road and they both do massive wall damage as well good duck no punish though Oh, oh no. no, that's gonna be it. If, uh, oh, you drop it no. Okay, I was gonna say you don't want to drop a, a a combo when Paul is at low health situations. You get hit by one death fist and it's all GGs after that. Uh, you know, dragging off. You know, uh, 
escaping, escaping death there, taking the first round, taking the first game. Ooh, try the can can. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Oh. Tried to back swing him. I see you. Ooh. Oh, the five step game going crazy. Dragon off with the wall rank back shots, taking that first round of game two. <laughs> oh, oh, back shots is crazy work. Oh, good throw. I I believe you could uh you can tech on the ground to negate some of the damage. And did it take it? That's actually crazy damage for a throw. He's out here channeling his inner king. Okay. Good. Oh, again, he's got to get a little bit more proficient on uh, getting these wall rising punishes while he's ducking those uh, highs. Yeah. All right. And dragging off here on set point. Oh, good counter hit there from Dragonov. Drops it though. Woo! Good crouch dash into the demo man. That was kind of slick. I'm not going to lie. Uh oh, gets launched. He's going to go to the wall. Woo! Stop that completely good sidestep. He dash. This is dead. Balmer ref putting a round up on the board. No, no round browns in this dojo. Yeah. You know, good stuff on Palmer and staying alive, but getting hit with that launcher and going straight to the wall. Okay, tried to sidestep there, got clipped though. And there is that wall ring pressure. Dragonov getting the perfect to take that set two to zero. Yeah, good stuff by Dragonov closing that out. Um, that could have been dangerous because Palmer ref is very nasty. Enough. Joe Crush coming in with the Allen, the alien uh, custom versus Stardust with the, I don't even know what that is with the Crocodile Dundee fit. There you go. Wow. What, what just happened? Uh, the auto, the auto turn uh, power crush, I guess. Bro, every week Joe Crush be coming out with like a new outfit. That's some crazy. That's some crazy stuff. I really do enjoy it. Though. I'm a big fan of Invincible, so Seeing the, I saw the Allen the Alien custom at TNS and I was like, yo, that's hype. That's pretty hype. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, these throws from Stardust are going crazy right now. Yep. What is not hype is Joe Crush not breaking these throws. Fight. Okay, trying to run up on him. Good jab there by Stardust. Good micro sidestep there. Ooh, good step here from Stardust. Oh, gets the wall flat. Okay. Stardust kind of cooking, making Joe Crush look like a lunch lady. Oh, okay. Joe Crush heard what I said. Never mind. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh drop good, good read there from Joe. Uh oh, oh not this hit. time. Nope. Can't power crush a rage art, buddy. Smart stuff there from Stardust to go straight into it and, you know, take the W. And let's see, uh, <laughs> Stardust got a two round lead over Joe Crush, getting the electric to launch him. Let's see what Joseph Bartholomew of House Crushington can do to, uh, overcome this Stardust gin. Uh, it was looking good there and then got hit with the can can and put Stardust back on the advantage, but Joe's like, I ain't out of this yet. Okay, Joe is cooking with the mids right now. Getting the Okies and planting the seeds to put that round on the board. Yeah, good stuff there from uh, Joe Crush to finally take a round. Let's see if he can come back though. Can't, can't count him out now. You gotta close the coffin while it's, <laughs> while it's uh, slamming. You gotta slam it dead or otherwise Joe Crush will come back. He is Joe Clutch for a reason. Yeah, he is Joe Clutch, and he just applying all this pressure to Stardust on the wall, just making Stardust guess. It seems as if the download was complete. Final round. Yeah, you know, on that Texas internet, Joe takes a minute, but you know, once he gets it, he's doing. That's crazy.
Listen, every time I'm on commentary, man, people think I just be slandering this man's internet. Texas internet is terrible, but you know, Joe Crusher was an amazing player. So not taking away from him man, by any means, but he's getting this good combo. Got this got this very dominant uh offense going, plus frame. Plus frame. Man, and Joe is bodying Stardust right now at the wall. Oh, he dropped that last hit. Oh, he's gonna be tough, Whoa. but Joe with the armor there to get the launching kick. Yeah, good stuff, Joe. Closing it out. Reverse no round brown there. Now, if you're Stardust, you gotta completely forget about that round because, like, you were up two games and you kind of dropped the ball in closing it, but gotta just hop right back in there and, you know, make the adjustment. Well, Joe kind of, you know, just discombobulating Stardust a little bit because we saw at, right there, Stardust did that micro side step. Not in in the pressure. Good down to counter here, by the way. Uh, in those pressure moments, just didn't utilize that start, that side step as much. Mm -hmm. Round two. Yeah. Good stuff for Stardust to take that first round there. Um, all right. No getting the hit round start. Not the combo. All right. One. Oh, good duck. No punish. Ooh, good kick. Thank you. Okay, 10 frames. Good patience. Gets hit with the low. Joe's playing real Tekken now. And uh, Joe's, Joe's playing uh, playing the Tekken we know and love here. Ooh. Good armor there. Let's go for that one. Please don't let this man ever get the full charge, brother. We don't need that happening again. The fact that he was able to get it in the first place was insane. All right, Joseph Bartholomew Crushington now in set point. Yeah, Joe is comfortable right now. Oh my God, it was about to happen. He might actually be dead. Insane oh. two touch by Joe Crush to get the perfect and take that. Just took his lunch money, took the game, took the round. Damn near took his taxes. Come on, Joe. That was dirty. Yeah, Yo, my bad, GK. I forgot. It's like three of us out here. We, we try. Is this a Victor Among Us custom? Is that what I'm seeing right now? That's what, that's what it's looking like. Already life scrap. Scrapping it up. Starting off pretty strong. Taking already 12 seconds in. Three quarters of GK's health. Oh, good down three. Oh, okay. Mm. The down four one checks from Light Scrap. Oh, tried Ooh, to sidestep, but got tracked. Yeah, got tracked by the uh, two one there. Oh, good duck. And got the wild rising one plus two. All right, we're gonna go to the wall. Yep, mm. one. Mm -hmm. mm. Good Damn. combo there. Oh, got good block on the down back three. All right. Oh, that was bold. He could have ducked that. Oh, and caught him ducking with the 12 frame mid. 12 frame damage. So one thing we always got to look out for Victor, aside from that counter hit, just not in his favor, is always those up forward one plus two. It did get nerfed, but it's still super dangerous to get hit with almost every time. Oh, good set up there from uh, GK. Okay. Gotta be careful that that second hit is duckable in those situations. After that first round, just GK applying all that pressure, sidestepping with it, seeing Light Trap getting that counter hit. And I believe he still has float. Oh no, he doesn't need it. He's at the wall. Oh, but wasn't enough uh, splat there to get the follow up. And GK is getting a lot of these low counter hits, which is free damage for him. Ooh, good four, one plus two. Good step. Oh, good break. Ooh. Okay, good break. Yes, sir. And got the run in one plus two. GK definitely cooked after, especially right after that first round, just completely brought it back and just, you ain't getting no more rounds. And uh, he was like, and I took that personally and just uh, began to go crazy.
took it extremely personally because uh that was a very quick in real time adjustment coming from gk and the trade that they both got for none of that power crush stuff here all right down for one four Ooh, good down three there to avoid the high gk is cooking with these stances and these folks right now Oh, okay. Right. Good use of armor and power crush. Right, good oh, Ooh, Ooh, there goes my all four one plus two. Plus three. Oh, oh. tried to catch him low. Oh no. Mm. Okay, good. Oh, GK playing the realest forms of seconds. Yeah, that was a good run up down back three to end the round there. All right, side step one plus two. Oh, oh no, they counter hit low. Plus frame. Ooh, good whiff on it there with the launch. Okay, use that heat heat dash. Got him on the wall, back against the wall is light scrap, not a good spot to be in. I don't think it's light scrap out of there. I don't think light scrap knows he can duck the one four there, so. He, uh, and GK taking full advantage of the fact that he doesn't want to duck. Fight. That point for GK. Ooh. Good delay there to get the counter hit. And we're at the wall already. Activate. Oh, spending it already. Good amount of damage there. Okay. Good, good side step. step. Ooh. Okay, that was crazy. GK did get the good sidestep, but got grabbed out of whatever punish he was trying to go for. Oh, good break. I believe that was a one plus two. Okay, all right. Light scrap said there's no no round browns in this dojo today. Ooh, good wait there from GK to get the whip punish. Staying very patient. All four, one plus two. To activate. But frames with the mix. Oh, going for the oh, 10 good. string. Okay. Went for. What was, was that the 10 string? That's that what it 10. looked like. That was the 10 string. It starts with down four, one four, and then goes into. I don't know the rest of the notation because I just be mashing it. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> okay. Life grab kind of cooking here. Towards the end, got the reset too. And playing real Tekken to tie it up. Survival point versus set point for Light Scrap and GK. GK kind of on the back foot right now. Light Scrap getting that confidence. Oh, the Wisconsin Ooh. jump. Hate to see it. I'm a good uh, snake edge there. Ooh, Ooh. my lord. Now my man is... woke up and chose violence. Literally, Light Scrap tying it up. One game apiece. Yeah, reverse no round brown there. Um, good stuff there from Light Scrap to uh, you know, no notice that uh, she was in Scarecrow and in that stance she cannot block, so he just was round like, one. I'm sending you to the sky. Yeah, I don't want peace. I want problems. Oh, good block. Oh, but block the high there. They're definitely ducking out of punish. Okay, GK staying a little patient. Not trying to overextend in any way. Stepping to put Life Scrap back against the wall. Gets the wall flat. Mm, Good combo. Ooh, went for the low. He, I think he gets the follow up on the wall. Yeah, not enough kill though. Gotta be careful. Oh, didn't oh. break the throw and that might be death. Oh, he knew. Okay, Good. so. Oh my goodness, that was so like, uh, he did the low, the down three there and he he had the block, but he let go at the last second. Yeah, those micro ducks, uh, a lot of the time can kill you if you don't uh, stay patient to hold it long enough. All right, first frame. All right, down three. Oh, okay. Down for four. UK is stacking up this damage on these lows. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One more hit for DK. Okay. Playing that tried and true Tekken with the low there. 
Yes, sir. All right, set point for GK once again. Gets this counter hit. That's gonna take him to the wall. Get him that wall damage. Oh. Oh, oh Lord. He burst into the wall flat. Not looking good for Light Trap right now. Trying to go for the Snake Edge. Yeah. That was a Zafina round. Yeah, that, that was definitely a Zafina round. GK cooking right there at the end. Yeah, good stuff clutching it up and taking it with the Zafina 2 1. Open mic. But up next, we got 8 Way Funds versus Exo Lydia. Hopefully, the Tekken Gods can bless us with the good uh, servers and internet. Yeah, hopefully. But, you know, oh, this is a this is an interesting matchup, Leo versus uh, Lydia. So, but eight way two, fun. Two heavy uh, stance characters. Yeah, it's like these characters you definitely have to have a deep knowledge of, otherwise you will get bodied. Ooh. Okay, gets the wall splat and the tornado. Good conversion there by XO. Once again, mm -hmm. gets the wall splat at the wall again. XO cooking. Oh yeah, XO is definitely cooking. So a uh, good round starts from uh, eight ways, eight way funds, just applying good pressure. What? It's not how you start, it's how you finish. Okay, crazy wall shenanigans are happening right now. Oh, good duck. This pressure is crazy from uh, Leo at the wall. Yeah, trying to keep Exo in the corner of Doom. Oh, good counter hit. Oh, unblockable. Ooh. I think. Round three. I don't know. She doing stuff. Fight. That those that heaven and earth stance change, man. It's crazy, especially in heat. Yeah. And there we go again. Seeing it and gets that four four two. Uh, once again, Lydia in heat is monstrous. She has all her stacks, so she's like where she wants to be right now. But you know, anyway, one of I'm not going out without a fight. Oh, we'll bring all of this back. You never know. Good low block from XO, getting that no round brown game one. Yeah, good stuff. Um, eight way, eight way funds had to go for a hail mary in that situation, and XO called it out. And Lydia, right now, living my dreams because I'm absolutely gonna get food after this tournament so <laughs> i'm gonna definitely gonna be like i wonder what's still yeah, open. Facts. get ready for the next battle i'm definitely gonna get get some food right after this we're gonna be um, going right it. oh man we're gonna be eating well but speaking of eating well we are now in the elegant palace where lee loves to eat well but who's gonna be eating well during these combos Right. Okay, good neutral. Good block by A Way Funds. Alright, good pressure here from A Way Funds. Once again, putting Exo in the corner of Doom. This is not a fun spot to be in. Oh, let's see if, uh, okay. A Way Funds is able to close out there, taking the first round. Okay. Surprisingly, no star, no round star 442. Good sidestep, but 8 Way Funds uses the power crush to armor through that. Again, 8 Way Funds with a good low defense. XO back at the corner of Doom. Good stance change. I don't know. Looks like he's dead here. Oh, they didn't kill. He just sat there and looked at him. Are you done? <laughs> are you finished or are you done? Okay. Okay. It's a good punish, but A Way Funds is playing a different game than what he was playing in the first in the first set. No wall break, surprisingly. He's applying this crazy pressure. Good counter hit there from Exo. Yeah, but Exo come back, got off the wall finally. Good patience. Oh, good side step. No punish, though. That was more than enough time to get a free punish on that side step. Unfortunate for XO, but funds tying it 1 1. Yeah, that was an unfortunate, like, punish uh, with uh, missed opportunity right there. 
Uh, XO got to be kicking it, kicking himself for that. Oh, oh good counter hit. Starting strong. Ooh, oh, okay. Got I mean, got one stack. That's all that matters. All four, four hop kick. Okay, back against the wall. Good micro duck from XO. Okay, XO might have gave him just a charity set because now XO with a four, four, three. Yeah, definitely looking a little bit more active here. Oh, good walk, sidewalk there. Ooh. Ooh, I didn't even know that could pick up. That's insane. Oh, good block, go. That was a great punish there. See if you can get a wall break. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does a blue spark too. Just a little bit of extra damage that does there. Oh, good punish. Insane punish from XO. Nick, oh. All right, XO. Looking like, looking like uh, he came back. Definitely woke up. He was sleeping a little bit on that second game, but now game three said, I'm up now. It's time to go to work. Oh, dunking the and uh, Mr. Power Crush. Could have got launched there, but it was fun for some money. Oh, good break, good break. Fun hand. <laughs> oh, good use of heat burst to armor through that. And uses the heat smash right away. Definitely got that push the wall and hop kick. Mm. That was an insane up forward four right after he burst. Oh, okay. Good defense there from XO. Staying composed during that fun pressure. 10 seconds left on the clock. Let's see what we can do. Wow. And XO closing it out. Good stuff there. Um really turned it up there in that game three situation um super strong lydia play um, yeah just ch choosing probably some of the better stance options what's up next is this amazing set between joe fresh and Kula. this is a ladder match that's great this is a this is top eight winners finals at least yeah, that's, that's the type of caliber it is oh we speed running it though Running for sure. This hyper, right. hyperactive tech, and I don't know what's happening. Got to jump off the wall. Uh, we got the break. We got the throw right there. Oh, I have to. Oh, get, uh, get the combo. All right, we're around. Okay. All right, we're back in real time. Oh, gets the hammer launch. Okay, Joe. Uh, mm -hmm. We're gonna have to turn in. Oh, there's no harmony for the rest of this set, but we getting it. Huge. How did he do 60 percent damage in that one combo? Oh, brother. Yeah, that was crazy. Oh, uh oh. Oh, it didn't get the, the ground conversion off of that. Good sidestep by peeling. Hey, don't let this man come back on you, Joe. Uh, Joe definitely ain't letting that happen. Oh, oh, oh brother. God. I might have spoke too soon. Oh, didn't get the unblockable, though. Somehow. Oh, uh, and crazy. Crazy. That that was surging. That was your fault. <laughs> he said, don't not let that happen. Commentator curse in full effect. Yo, for real, if, if Joe if Joe wanna punch me in the face when he see me, I, I don't know. That was on me. <laughs> Alright, at the wall. Oh my god, what's this damage, bro? We just started 15 seconds ago. Ooh, okay. All right, this might be and these mind you, these are the last two undefeated people in the bracket, so someone is gonna take an L here. I mean, it can only be one, so. Tonight, everybody's been cooking. It's been kind of a crazy ladder. Oh, good duck there from peeling. Having the knowledge that ducking that is the only way to block it. Oh, really? Yeah, you. the only way to block that is by ducking. Okay, I've learned something new today. Thank you. Oh, that's the other step. Hey, be scared for a moment. But good launching, yo. Hmm. Okay, go planting the seeds. Oh, oh AOP into hop kick. What a move, brother. Unblockable. Okay, Joe so tried to sidestep it, but didn't connect. What frame? Oh, good block on low. Oh, once oh again, gets launched with the double hammer fist. Mm -hmm. 
Take a break. break. Oh, oh my God. Again, sidestep hop kick. 12 seconds dead. left on the clock. Do the rage, please. It's a smart thing to do. No, oh, no, hey. it wasn't, apparently. No, it wasn't. Still got the kill. I absolutely doubted you, Peeling. I'm not familiar with your game. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, because I was like, oh, he could rage, uh, P Lane could rage and get the, you know, get the stall out. He was like, no, I'm just going to go for the kill. I don't like that. He, he out there, he got the skills to pay the bills. So, my bad for doubting you, homie. <laughs> but all right. Yeah. Man. That, was, that was such a good set. Get ready um, for the next battle. You know, Joe, Joe just got to make the adjustments. Uh, let me not commentators <laughs> curse him again. You know, appealing with that clutch comeback. Uh, literally insane. Yeah, appealing, showing, you know, showing the people why he's one of the one of the consistent top eight places. Just showing that insane comeback on Joe Crush. All right, the pressure. Oh, good counter hit grab, and we get this free pickup. All right. I do know when it comes to that grab combo, that Zhao Yu has to modify the combo because of uh, that side. Oh yeah, the, the weird. Yeah, there there is some combos surprisingly that don't work on big body characters. Yeah. Um, mind you, also I don't know if you guys know, Peeling is a free agent, somehow not signed, by the way. Yeah, no, somebody sponsor, sponsor this, this man. Get him to get him to some events. We got to see this man more in offline tournaments. Because if he cooking this hard online, I can only imagine uh, how hard he could cook in offline tournaments. For sure. All right, speaking of cooking, we're at a round three. Joe even enough the odds. Oh, good oh, throw in the armor. Stays in the AOP. Joe backing up. Doing so close to putting him in the corner of Doom. This is not a good spot for Joe to be in. Good block on the low. Punish that. Oh, oh my God. boy. Never mind. Don't punish that. My fault, Joe. Now you can hit me in the face for telling you to punish that and getting launched right after. Did you see the AOP duck into the launch? Oh my yeah. God. That's and insane. Then, oh my God. This and then got the grab and got the power crush combo. Grab the power crush and got the combo to do some more damage. And Joe, okay, Joe ain't out of this yet. Oh no, definitely not. Joe is a one of our proficient comeback masters. We've seen it before. All oh, that don't kill, one hit though. Yes. Joe tying it two up, two up right now. Yeah, let's see if he can close it and stay alive here uh, as the, one, the, the undefeated king. Ooh, okay, go frame, goes for the low. Oh, the flipping and dipping over it. Joe using that heat engager, planting the seed. Might have been a mistake. He ain't got to get off this wall. Oh, wow. Michael with Wisconsin jump makes him. But Joe staying composed and blocking and getting all his wall damage. Oh, unfortunate and Joe only one hit away from tying it. Oh, they're just standing there, brother. <laughs> High level Tekken is is degenerate as hell. There's no way that you're just gonna sit there and stare at me. Looking look into the windows of my soul and then sit up here and proceed to try to mix me is insane. Right. But no, nah, good stuff to Joe clutching it out there. We are one one. In the ladder, this isn't even top eight. This is the ladder. Yeah, that they both. You can see none of them want Get that loss on their undefeated record right now. They're both six zero. One of them is gonna have to be six one. Round one. Fight. This is crazy. The low there to stop the power crush. Okay, Joe is applying good pressure, peeling, finding the right moments to get some type of punish. Mm, none of that around here. 
Woo! 10 frame big damage punish from Joe Crush. Yeah, 10 frame clutching it right there. That was crazy. Oh, he oh. ate three of those hits. Jesus. What? Lord. That was the cleanest micro sidestep I have seen so far. Oh, he tried to delay it, but Joe not wanting to wait around. <laughs> Excuse me, what happened there? <laughs> With the first hit of the heat smash, but somehow got the rest of it. Paragon was about to have to get rid of me, get me off the mic. I was almost said a finishing hand to just now, bro. That was the <laughs> I don't that's one of those sentences where you just gotta yell out, great googly moogly. Yeah. Oh, um, okay. That's, that's unfortunate, but. What? What? What is it? Why, why did that turn? Why is it? What is going on? What are the. What is happening between these two? And he got the guard break. What in the world? I Hold thought on. Joe. Only, I mean, I thought Jack only had one guard break. He got two? Yeah, when did he. Where did that one come from? We, we're learning new things, man. What is Joe doing? Brother, there's no way you just... My boy. Joe, you are a absolute menace. My boy just said, are you done up there? Nah, sit your... Oh, brother. The fact that that killed and he was in the air was is more insane, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, I'm gonna up and say, I'm gonna up and say, Joe, you an asshole. My favorite Leo player, Dapper, going against uh, Diamond. I think that's how you say Diamond. Diamond, yes sir, with the Chipotle gear and the Fang. Who five seconds into the round already cooking with the Fang into the Kempo step. Oh, good break on the one plus two. All right. Hey, what is up with my dude? By the way, for Dapper, the all black Leo with the mask. All right, Dapper. Oh, Lord. Took all of that round star. Very personal. Bringing it all the way back. It was like, I let you get it off because you, you were in Chipotle here and I'm kind of hungry, but now I got to cook you. He said, I'm hungry, but now I'm going to feed you this ass whooping at the wall. Okay. Dapper, I'm sorry I said anything about you, homie. Jesus Christ. You know, Dapper, like I said, Dapper is one of the, like we said, can't really call him up or coming. He's de definitely a top player when it comes to the Leo. You know, definitely a Leo specialist for sure. All right. Uh, Diamond Ooh. fighting back, though. Definitely no perfects for Dapper, the back one into the shoulder. I see you, Heim Diamond. Uh, shoulder once again, whole shoulder. The oh, full charge break. into the guard break. Right, what's next? Oh, tried to grab, but got hit with the palm. Good old back one in heat, too. Does a little bit more damage. Oh, the block. Oh, no whiff punish. That was a kind of a crazy sequence. No, no whiff punish on the down back three. Um, yeah, he did take a long time to get up there, but in the heat of the moment, you know, making decisions like that definitely, definitely hard. Oh, oh we're funny. <laughs> okay, good down two from him. All right, so the wall you go near the corner of Doom for this stage gets launched. Oh, the sidewall saving lives there. Oh, got the low. Dapper, that seems like such a fast set from Dapper. Also, a little, a little funny fun fact. I like how his title says Reaper in white, but he's wearing all black. <laughs> normally, normally his uh, uh, Dapper's normal outfit is like a all white fit with like a ghost, like the little ghost um, item behind him. So this, I, I think he's in his villain era right now. And he's definitely cooking. Oh, no. Ooh. Okay, the trade, it worked out for him anyway, because that would have been a down back three counter hit. Mm -hmm. mm. Jesus, Dapper, Dapper got stuff to do. Rent is due right now, the way Dapper is cooking in this round. Yeah, for sure. Good stuff to Dapper. Oh, good block on the low. Oh, Dapper. I mean, if it ain't broke. 
okay try to go for the mix there there that down back three counter hit i don't know about you but i get pissed every time i get hit by that <laughs> the down back three. it's yeah. a it's a cool move like i love that counter hit. i think it's one of the cooler ones up with oh overextended just a little bit it's up there with uh lars back three yeah Mm, split oh, the heavens, not. but he's still alive. Uh oh. Oh, the trade Ooh. almost happened, but Dapper gets the win out of that, stealing that round from Diamond. Yeah, somebody call the police. I'd like to report a robbery just now. I did. Uh, Dapper's in the flow. He, uh, he's in full control right now. Yeah, he's definitely controlling this match, just out poking. Diamond in almost every way, and the spring kick, not ready for it. Dapper, 2-0 over Diamond. What a, and I, dude, I feel like that one went so fast. Yeah, no, that definitely went, that was, that definitely felt like a speed run, for sure. But, you know, that, this man's name, Ragzuya. <laughs> Raccoon is insane. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Raccoon, man. Uh, such a such a goal on the timeline. You love to see. And that is the homie. And I'm I'm honestly I'm not gonna lie, right? This uh, as I've been commentating almost the entire year of this year so far, and this is the first time I get to commentate an inconsiderate Raccoon match. So insane. This, this, is a, this is a blessing for us. We, yeah. yeah. So like I'm definitely gonna tell him, and I'm gonna tell him I was talking hella trash. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> and all right. Oh, good duck. Okay. The Ragzuya might be cooking. Gets the float combo. Not the optimal damage though. Tried to sidestep. Okay, Joe throwing out the mid kick. 15 seconds left on the clock. He's trying to get Joe on the whip on his. Come on, stop playing with Rack. You know that man can kill you. Yeah, no, he, he managed to close it out there, but, you know, still a long way to go. Good block and good punish with the 1-1-2. One, one, okay, the 1-1-2 right. one, one, punish once again. Oh, tried to go for the hell sweep, but Joe Crush with the side steps also he drops it, though. Oh, good punish there on the duck from Ragduya. Oh. Ragduya Mishima is definitely cooking right now. He okay. might be, he might be the person to give Joe Crush his first L. You never know what can happen. It feels like every Paragon there's always been somebody undefeated. So this will be the first time if, if Rat can close it. That somebody's actually, like everyone's actually been defeated the game. Oh, oh my boy. Ooh, the damage on that throw. Uh oh, Joe cooking with these pokes now. Oh, he got the oh, wrong no. step, but he dropped it. That he was just a little too far there. He has a sidewall there. Um, weird situation there. He dropped out. I been on one too. You know, Kavi, got some buff, so like, you know, Kavi plays up right now. They definitely eating pretty good. Although we're not seeing too many of them. In the online scene, 10 frame, big damage from Joe Crush. Rack gotta watch himself here. Plus mm. frame and the low Joe already bringing it back. Two to two right now. It's a very important round for both of them. Okay, I respect it. Oh, oh no, no punish, punish on the spring kick. Interesting. Oh, guard oh. Like, no. Okay, Rack a little discombobulated here, but now he's in demon form. Uh oh, never mind. Demon form oh. not gonna help you try to punish with the one one two and Joe hitting him with the low. Joe with the reverse no round brown there. And if I know consider it, he's probably talking in a super trash right now. Round one. Also, Rack, next time man, choose a two syllable lane. We gotta get uh we gotta get your name not as long up on the title. Yeah, no, nah, that, that name is crazy. Okay. Oh, good defense, no punish, except for the 1 1 2. A punish is a punish, regardless. Oh, Ooh, the, the, oh my god, Joe Crush cooking with the movement right now. 
Frankel's mix. Oh, good punish there from Rack. It seems like Rack has like the the, the technical aspects of Kazuya. He's playing the neutral really well. It's just you know, Joe Fresh is a, a random bag, a random grab bag when it comes to fighting him. So yeah, it's just he he has Rack second guessing his defense. Doesn't know whether he's gonna. He should block low or mid. Good throw break from Rack though. And oh my God, the sidestep on the heat burst from Joe Crush. Oh yeah, that was. Oh yeah, that was also one of the changes with the with one of the, the recent patches. You can sidestep a uh, heat heat activations now. Yep, the heat activate the heat burst don't track as well. Plus, power crushes can also beat them out as well. Yeah, so it's not they're not as strong on the offensive side anymore. So that definitely changes a lot of how the neutral and the meta of the game overall is played. They got that first hit. Oh, good whiff punish there from Raccoon. Gets oh misses the stomp somehow. Oh, he's dead. Oh, Joe dropping in now, but getting that last hit. Uh, Rack tried to roll out of that, but he still got clipped by it. Uh oh, Joe is playing with him. That's a way to break that is grab his ass. All right, let's go. And on, once Rack. again. Oh, surprised that in wall splat. Oh, he thought he was going to do it again. Oh, no. You can't, you can't leave Joe alive in situations like this. Oh. Okay. Hitting him with the hit to sheet. All right, let's see if uh, Rack can close it. But I found in situations like this, this is where Joe can be the most dangerous. All right, so Joe, it seems like Rack might have found the Kryptonite is going for these grabs. That's not going to deter Joe in any way, shape, or form. Good dog. Okay. Hit to sheet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He has to be careful the heat activation from Joe. That's a 10 frame activator that he will let rip. Ooh, okay, oh. the big boot. Uh oh. Ooh, okay. Okay, Rack. And this good. This might kill. What do you think, Chat? Is this gonna kill? I don't think it kills. I think he has a sliver left. Ooh, so close. Rack has to hit one more mix. Oh no. oh no, the palm, big boot, and Joe steals it from Inconsider Raccoon. Oh, I kind of wish I was in this stream. I'm pretty sure he would have raged. There, <laughs> he's screaming at somebody. I got one of the local homies, so slight bias, but no bias. For uh, J Cam versus Pastel Tommy Reyna. Oh yeah, Pastel Tommy, you know another, you know top top player for war. Oh. J Cam, right. you can't be getting bodied in hyper tournament mode like this, my guy. Mm. Ooh, good clothesline. Get up. Yeah, stomp on it. Okay, try to Jaguar run, got interrupted. All right, good combo here from Pastel. Woo. Okay, Pastel Tommy's cooking with pickups, I see. Right. Okay, good use of E first. Jaguar Ooh. runs, yes, wrong. Good launcher into the power bomb. Good sidestep, no punish. There we go, J Cam, get that punish in on the sidestep. Let's go. All right, no, no, no round brown here. Uh, so staying alive. Let's see if uh, J Cam come back. Okay. Just run up down it with it. I, I respect it. Okay, good punish in the wild rising. Getting as much uh, leverage as he can. To get this damage, J Cam kind of waking up now, but Pastel Tommy saying, Now nah, you're gonna stay asleep. Woo! He ate all of that. Jesus. Ooh, got the he's gonna, he's gonna get the kill here if he doesn't drop it. Oh my, it looks like he got these. He got these. Yep, he got this power bomb. Oh, all right. And J Cam bringing it back two rounds each. Very important round here to take that game and set the momentum for the next match. Unfortunately, we, we're at Yakushima. I hate this stage. It's quite I hate Coliseum. Coliseum is, is my least favorite stage. Yeah. Oh, didn't get the low blow. Ooh. Okay. Red. Oh. 
running King Onslaught. No! Ooh. Just a little too early. Got antsy there. You that had to be an input error. I, I, I would assume that had to be in for air as well. Cause you, he, there was such an amazing flow. Jcam got the running king onslaught. Like that's it. That's like once you, once I see that, I'm like, oh, we about to cook. And I'm assuming I, I, he tried to press. Uh, uh, he did down forward something, but ended up pressing down forward one plus two. But like, uh, so unfortunate. Yeah, that that can be a momentum killer. Let's see if Jcam can. Uh, shake that off. Oh, wow. Oh, Barry. Okay, Pascal Tom. Okay. Hmm. Oh, went for the... Yeah, he went for the pedigree. I saw it. Oh, okay. Good use of heat dad. Uh -huh. yep. Oh, missed the third one. Oh, gotta hmm. watch. Oh. All right, J Kim gotta gotta adjust, gotta adjust. But he was cooking in that first game. So let's see if he can potentially bring this back again and tie it up. Oh, Ooh, man. Okay, the Jaguar run has to Tommy guessing wrong, which makes it guaranteed for J Cam and getting the power bomb. Oh, mm. no blow. Oh, try to sidestep just a little too early. All right, Paso Tommy got all that life back off the heat activation. The block on the low, but no punish. Yeah, went, uh, it's interesting that he went for the wall rising to punish. I would have went for the, uh, honestly would have went for uh, hop knee. But that, oh, no. I don't play king either, so I couldn't tell you. All right, and Paso Tommy on set point. Okay, J Cam kind of cooking on the poke offense. A pastel Tommy bringing it back also with the poke offense. Making J Cam second guess himself. Yeah, it's death by a thousand cuts right now. Okay, so he's really trying to use that armor. Mm -hmm. Pastel Tommy getting in with the four forwards, taking it 2 0 over J Cam. And I believe we have enough time for one more set here, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I believe we may have time for one more set. I mean, if you're in the ladder, go ahead and get that uh, claim now. Uh, Pastel Tommy definitely ran away with that second game. Um, like I said, J Cam was like on all cylinders, but I feel like that paragon giveaway right there make sure you guys join out i don't know what they're giving away i'm pretty sure it's gonna be good for it right now. we're giving away this yep we're giving away this last match 10-0 versus pastel tommy pastel tommy running it back on the stream yeah good uh like i said pastel Tommy back in it and oh you know he's been grinding all night we see him at the beginning of the night let's see what what he can make happen oh no reyna Reyna activities in the corner of Doom against 10 0. Man, Pastel Tommy is keeping that momentum from his last match and bringing it into this new one. Yeah, no, you definitely gotta, you know, take your momentum and keep it running in, in these sorts of ladder events where every win matters. And Pastel Tommy cooking like his wife is on his way home and it's date night. Jesus. Oh my god, just stuffing that. That uh hi, oh lord. Okay, Tenno trying to pick up some of this momentum. Ooh, okay. Good E dash. Yeah, good stuff there from Tenno, you know, not making it free, you know, staying alive here. Oh, this is round four already? Yeah, bro. That's the time on the speed run right now. You're trying to get at least one mo in, but Man. Oh, good counter hit there. All right, definitely going to the wall because random combos, I like that. Oh, rolling like limb biscuit out here, bro. I love that, that's great. <laughs> and Pastel Tommy take it is. 1-0 over 10-0. Ooh, the bars is coming back. 
<laughs> All right, this is Tenno's last chance to potentially get a win here. As this saw, uh, as the queue for the ladder is closing in one minute, so if you're already not mid match, it's looking all over for you. All right, are we gonna break the wall, or is he gonna keep it for the pressure? Woo! Wow! Went for the mix grab. Oh no, Jesus! Round two. Pastel Tommy is playing this matchup right now like it's a counterfeit. It's insane. Oh, okay, the patience. You know, Pastor Tommy doing a good job of just in being in full control here. Oh, Pastor Tommy is trying to like sidestep almost everything that Tenno is doing. Don't feel punished. Nick. Oh, yeah. Interesting. And seeing uh, Huang Rang end the round in a in a punch, some you never really see. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely rare rare form right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, does it again? If it didn't work the first time, I'm going for it again. And Pastel Tommy going for the health cube and getting the perfect to put him at set point. You know, Pastel Tommy running a clinic right now. He, he is not to be slowed down. Man, Pastel Tommy, you said running the clinic, but Tano ain't got insurance. So I'm going to charge you all this money. Yeah, definitely charging a premium and got the electric and closing it out there. So easy. I mean, what can we say? Pastel Tommy just ran it. Like, uh, he controlled Tano in the neutral. Tano head good opportunities to get out but you know pastel Tommy just was not was not opting to just not play defense that's all it was man but shout outs to 10 0 valiant effort though just pastel Tommy just yeah, like I said keeping the momentum from that last game putting him up there uh you know that queue is now closed by the way so now I believe